Hello, my friends. So I'm going to take you through a nice little yoga routine for cultivating sexual health, sexual energy, and um, we're going to be focusing a lot on opening the hips and opening the spine as these are very important areas to have open for, your, for abundant sexual health and uh, sexual cultivation practice. So let's start out in a seated position, any comfortable seated position that works for you, and place your hands on your belly and start to breathe through the nose. So as you inhale, feel the feels like you're breathing from the belly. As you inhale, the belly expands. As you exhale, the belly contracts. Nice deep breaths, really connecting with your body, connecting into this moment, focusing all of your awareness on your breathing. And as you, as you exhale, start to, uh, we're going to practice Mula Bandha, which is a contraction at the perineum, at the pelvic floor. So essentially like doing a, a Kegel exercise. So as you exhale, contract the pelvic floor muscle, and as you inhale, release. Feeling our root being activated, feeling our sexual energy awakening. Now we're going to practice breath of fire. So placing the palms uh, on the knees, touch the first finger against the thumb, a little yoga mudra here. And breath of fire is a rapid breath uh, from the belly. So, first just place the hand on your belly. So as you exhale, the belly contracts, you inhale, the belly expands. So this is a rapid breath. So, placing the hand on the knees, tuck the chin slightly, and beginning breath of fire. Contracting the perineum lightly with each exhale. Increasing the pace of it if you want to. Take a deep breath and hold. Contract the pelvic floor muscles from the bottom of it. Press the, the diaphragm down lightly. Feel the energy condensing in the belly center. Exhale. Let's do the heart healing sound to clear the heat. Inhale. So, from this seated position, we're going to start to rock, rock on the pelvis, awakening our sexual energy, feeling our root pressing into the floor, like we're grinding into the earth. Feeling very loose in the spine. Breathing deeply. Switching the direction.
feeling that sexual energy activating. Feeling our spine opening so that that sexual energy can circulate throughout the body. And coming to stop. And now we're going to we're going to rock the spine forward and backwards. So as you come forwards, you inhale. Backwards, exhale. We're really bending the spine here, arching it forward and backwards. We're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Stop. Feeling the spine. Feeling the spine is nice and activated. And now we're going to, still in our seated position, place the hands on the shoulders. So the elbows are up to the sides. And we're going to inhale to the left, exhale to the right. And feel, keep your awareness on the kidneys in the lower back. So in, uh, according to Chinese medicine, the kidneys are responsible for our, our sexual health and our sexual energy. So it's good to uh, keep our kidneys healthy. So this is going to strengthen our kidneys as well as give our spine a nice stretch. So inhale, left, exhale to the right. Going at your own pace. Center, take a deep breath and hold. Move the bonda, contract the perineum, push the diaphragm down lightly, gently. And if you get lightheaded, just release. And now we're going to do some cat cows to really open up our spine. So coming on to your hands and knees. Uh, knees are right under the hips, hands are right under the shoulders. As you inhale, lift the butt, lift the head. Exhale, opposite direction. Arching the spine. Really feeling the spine open, giving a nice stretch. One more time. Open the spine. Now coming onto your back, so we're going to do a very powerful core exercise. So this is a little intense, just do uh, the best you can. So laying on our backs, we're going to lift the legs, pointing the toes, and lift the arms. And we're going to do breath of fire. And you can come up higher if you want, or be lower. Keep 
pushing through it. Deep breath and hold. And release. Really feeling the core activated, feeling our fire and our power center, our core. Feeling our fire in our power center, our core. We're gonna do that one more time, coming up again. Breath of fire. breaths here, feeling your body against the earth, and coming up, coming up, so we're going to do goddess pose, so coming into a nice wide stance, we're going to come here, um, if, if you're able to do this, you may only be able to do this from the balls of your feet, but if you can get your heels on the ground, that's great. Whew, pressing the, you know, you might only be here, just whatever you can do. And if you can, come down and press the elbows into the legs and bring the palms together. And making sure the spine is nice and straight, head is up. And just breathe here. Those are your breathing in your sexual center from the earth. Breathing out from the earth. <sighs> Exhaling the earth. Breathing blue light from the earth into your sexual center. Once again, connecting the Mubamba, contracting the perineum on the exhale. Breathing up from the earth. And then if you can, place your right hand on the ground, stretching the left palm up. Taking some deep breaths here. Switching sides, left palm down, right arm stretches up towards the sky. And the palms come down, bringing the palms down, and coming out, let's pose. And we're going to move into an upward dog pose. So, coming down on the mat, laying on your stomach, bringing the palms under the shoulders, and pressing up, all the way up into our dog, so the tops of the feet, pushing into the earth, lifting the, um, lifting the hips off the ground, stretching the spine, Taking some deep breaths. Breathing up and down the spine. Really opening the spine. This is great if you spend a lot of time sitting as a lot of us do in the modern world. And then coming back into child's pose. Hands are forward, resting the forehead on the ground.
Planting your breath, breathing into the sexual center. Pose. So we're going to stretch the left leg out, bringing the right foot in to um, the upper thigh on the left leg, and sitting here for a moment, nice straight spine, and then turning towards the left leg and slowly bending down, but keeping the spine straight. So you might when you come to here, that's fine. If you can, stretch a little farther. Placing the hands on the foot. Coming down over that leg. Feeling the kidneys stretch in the lower back. Nice deep breaths. And we can continue our Mula Bandha, contracting the perineum on the exhale, releasing on the inhale. And coming up. Now stretching out the right leg, bringing the left foot in towards the top of the right thigh. And nice straight spine. Facing this right leg, and bending. as far as it's comfortable for you, keeping the spine straight. Nice deep breaths. Coming back up. Now bring the soles of the feet together and bring them in closer towards the body. Sitting up straight. And then if you can, lean forward slightly and compress the elbows into the thighs, grabbing the hand or grabbing the feet with the hands and slowly lowering yourself. Really opening the hips. The knees are coming down towards the earth just as much as is comfortable for you. Using the exhale to really let go and deepen the stretch. Now, placing both legs out straight to the sides. And if you can, sitting nice and tall, placing your hands on the ground, breathing into the hips. Or if you really need to, you can place the hands behind you. But if you can, place the hands in front, breathing into the hips into the pelvic floor. And then coming down, placing the hands and the legs, or you can place the middle and, or the first and middle finger on the toes, the big toe, and use that to lightly pull yourself down with each exhale. Keeping the spine straight, we're not collapsing forward in the integrity of the spine. It's 
sinking with each exhale. Just come down as far as you can. You may be able to come all the way down to the ground. And while we're here, rub the hands together. And we're going to stroke the inside of the leg, up the inside of the leg. So we're tracing a kidney meridian here. We're telling our energy to move through the kidney channel. Doing this nine times. and then come into a comfortable seat. We're going to close with a little meditation. Placing the hands on the belly. It feels like you're condensing all this energy you've cultivated into a pearl in the belly center, or center of gravity. Pearl might be as small as a marble or as large as a basketball. So the energy can dance here, gathering. Giving our energy a container to be stored in so that we can call upon it when we need it. And then once we form this pearl, begin to spin it up the back, down the front. Feeling this pearl spinning, gathering more energy as it spins. And place the tongue against the roof of the mouth, feeling this momentum build up, feeling the energy overflow down to the sexual center and then rising like steam up the spine up to the crown of the head, through the third eye, and then down the front of the body, through the tongue, which is against the roof of the mouth, through the throat, through the chest, down to the belly center, into the perineum, moving in this loop, the microcosmic orbit. go to the spinning, feeling all this energy condensed in our belly center in this pearl. And then letting go. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. Have a great rest of your day and please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and be well, my friends.